Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sid Rail with video games and vlogs. Um, I'm going to attempt a few videos like this, a little bit different on what you would call a moto vlog. Hopefully I can get all the audio balanced out here, but as you'll notice, uh, other than my beautifully lovely truck right there in front of us, um, uh, I am on my motorcycle, except I'm not actually on it right now. This is a uh, voiceover vlog. Uh, I don't have a mic set up to vlog while riding at this point in time. And uh, currently I just have a, kind of a ghetto set up for this GoPro on my uh, motorcycle. Um, it's currently mounted using the bar mounts on my mirror. Uh, there's a little spot where it can uh, mount up and it's uh, kind of nice. It, it works. You can see there is going to be quite a bit of jitteriness. But one thing is, when this video was recorded, this is full 1080p at 120 frames per second. So, uh, before I get into some of the details on that and everything, um, I've been writing for maybe, what is it, a week or so now? Yeah, a week. If that. And, uh... Yeah, so if you hear a lot of mess ups and shifting and clutching and everything and yeah, shh. <laughs> so uh, I'm still getting used to everything. I am not the greatest writer. That's why I this is going to be fairly short right here. One, not only was it about the end of the day, I was already really quite tired, and uh, I just wanted to go out and get a little bit of ride in and test out the GoPro. Um, I am probably uh, I'm hesitant to, but I'm probably going to see about doing a, a mount to my helmet. Um, i got to figure out exactly what I want to do and how I'm going to mount that. And if I'm going to do a real-time vlogging setup or... Yeah, that guy just had no mind, but you can't really see over that and they don't mow that area along enough, and so when the grass just gets a little bit high, you can't see anything coming over there. Hate that spot. Um, so, I'm probably not going to do any active moto vlogging for a while, um, where I talk while I record, uh, largely due to the fact that I am not confident enough in my writing, and I want to pay attention as much as possible to my writing until it kind of becomes second nature to me. Um, I've been writing to work, but um, how far I drive in this video is about as far as I need to drive to work. Um, it's in the other direction, but yeah, I, I literally it's 1.7 miles, I think. And so, here we go. Ooh, give a little throttle. Squeeze it. And as I said, I'm not the best writer and everything. Um, I'm more of working on clutch control to make sure I'm comfortable with it and everything. I do have some things on the way to help with that. I have some adjustable um, levers that I think is going to make a big difference um, in positioning and managing the throttle um, and all that. But uh, so I. Uh, I am riding on a 2015 Yamaha FZ07 with an Acrophobic uh, exhaust and an EJK uh, fuel controller. Um, a few other odds and ends, but the uh, bike itself, I absolutely love it. It is so comfortable, so natural. Um, a lot of torque, so not necessarily the best beginner bike. Um, I have had one spill on it so far. Uh, I got my beauty marks and blemishes out of the way. Basically what happened was I uh, gave it a little bit too much gas and I accidentally popped the clutch when I was pulling away from an intersection. I was too concerned that there were people behind me waiting at the intersection. Of course, the one little pothole there. I've got to hit it. Um... <laughs> 
but I was too concerned with the people behind me at the intersection uh, than I was with riding the bike. And I wasn't focusing, I was nervous. And the worst part about it is, oh, by the way, here's some slow-mo if it actually edits out right that you should be seeing right about now. Absolutely gratuitous to slow-mo and a lot of it just, just cuz. I was more worried about trying to not mess up that that actually caused me to mess up. I lost my train of thought. So basically, I basically gave too much gas, accidentally let the clutch slip. It grabbed all sorts of wheelie air. I managed to bring it back down, but I had so much momentum when I came back down and I went over to the side of the bike. It kind of threw me off and the bike came down over on my leg. I wasn't hurt. I mean, it was literally just from an intersection. Um, the bike's got some scratches on it, mainly on the exhaust. But thank goodness for frame sliders. Oh my gosh. I'm so, so, so happy. Um... I think the exhaust can be uh, sanded down and re-cleared in that spot, so luckily for that. But that was my one little mess up so far. Um, it it made me double think every time I'm pulling away in this and that to watch my clutch control and be smooth. And I I a little bit slower pulling away because of it because I want to be as smooth as possible but I don't think there's anything wrong with that once I get going I'm perfectly fine I give it some a little bit too much gas when grabbing an extra gear or switching gears I'm trying to rev match as much as possible uh, but it's it's just getting to learn the bike very well and being such a new rider uh, that's a big difference for me too um, yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, riding a bike for the first time is I, its such a different experience. Not only is there so much more that you have to be aware of, um, it just feels so free at the same time. So it's really a different experience, and I've always wanted to ride a bike, so I, I'm absolutely in love with doing that. So, I, I just, I don't know what to say much more than that. Uh, it's enjoyable, and I'm sure most of you that would be watching this, if you're not a brand new rider or looking at riding, you can understand that it's just, you want to ride constantly. 
fatigue and everything is the only thing that's really kind of stopping me from riding as much as I would want to. That and weather. Of course, weather. Uh, looks nice now when I was out riding here, but I had one oh, just got back in town, so I couldn't ride any other point in time during the day. But uh, past that, I also have to worry about... Oh, one second here... I think this is, I just want to make sure, okay, so I'm back on track with watching the video here, I think. I may be a little bit off on my audio for this, by the way, so I apologize, but I'll just match up some stuff and maybe insert some cheesy music just for lols. So, um, ooh, here we go. Give it gas for no reason. And, of course, that person has to turn on their blinker and start getting ready to turn. So I'm like, oh, well, they killed that. <laughs> so anyway, I... Uh, it's just such a freeing, fun experience and everything. and um, It makes you so much more aware of everything around you when you are riding. Because you have to be. Because people are assholes. <laughs> so... Um, yeah. As far as the bike, I uh, said I already mentioned I got some uh, new levers coming in. I have a new gold reflective uh, faceplate and a pinlock insert coming in for my helmet. Um, I also have a, a tail tidy or, or rear fender eliminator coming in that I'll be putting on the bike. And don't know much else that I might get other than just more gear for myself. Um, I may look into some different turn signals slightly, but I like the big orange bulbous monsters for right now. The bike doesn't look the best, but they can be seen. So, being a new rider, that's important for me. Um, so... Here we go back into my neighborhood and just do a little bit of cruising around. So, I will cut out here at one point um, just to make sure that I don't show some things, license plate numbers, etc. Uh, but anyway, the ongoing videos and stuff this is the GoPro here for Black Edition. So, I'm hoping I can get a lot of cool different stuff. And, just simple things. Uh, I'm not going to be going crazy um, unless I come up with some just brilliant idea. Don't expect to see me do anything um, absolutely awestruck. And a lot of this is just for when that one dirt bag does pull in front of me that I hope never happens. I have proof to uh, camera rolling to show someone not paying attention. And yes, I did see that kid there coming. I was, I saw the two on the left, and then I saw a third on the left too. And I'm like, okay, there's got to be more kids riding around around here somewhere. And so I was paying very close attention. And coming up here around this turn, I was looking through the turn, very cautious. You could, I could see the car that was coming. So, because he, of course, did not see me at all. So, yeah. But uh, I plan to do some of this and maybe add some more gameplay footage. Maybe if I'm running around in GTA and stuff. Switching back and forth between the vlogs and on the motorcycle. And uh, in the virtual world as well. Maybe a motorcycle in GTA. Where I can ride like a true dickhead. Um, as do it with Dan would say. So... Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching with me here and sticking it out and everything. Um, not much else to really say at this point. Um, you see there, there's a big cut there. I just didn't want to show too much of anything here. Parking in the garage. So, If you guys have any suggestions, any comments, anything you want to see from me and hear from my lovely voice um, anything at all just let me know 
and I'll be glad to post up something or do something or something. Until then, bye-bye.